Lesson 7, Using SPI Port to Access Refid Reader In this lesson, we will use OSO Refid Reader to make a simple security verify system. This refid will use a new communication protocol SPI to send data to Pico. So after this lesson, you have learned three kind of communication protocols, SPI, I2C and Serial, RS-232. The speed comparison among these three methods are, SPI greater than I2C greater than Serial. Open the tutorial link for lesson 7. Download the library zip file from https colon slash slash osoyu.com slash driver slash pico slash lesson 7 slash pico lesson 7 dot zip. Unzip above zip file, you will see two files, mfrc522.py and pico lesson 7.py. Connect Pico board to one of USB ports in your PC. Open the Tani Python IDE, click run to select MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico as interpreter. Select the COM port which your Pico board is connected. Use Tani to open the mfrc522.py library file, save it to Pico root directory. Write the file name, mfrc522.py. After that, click OK to save the setting. Then use Tani to open another file pico lesson 7py click the little button to run the Python code. You need to prepare three different refit cards. Touch each card on the reader, you will see its ID like 0xd71d9a52 and invalid card in the shell window. Also red LED is turned on and buzzer has a long beep. This is because that your current card IDs don't match any ID in line 14 comma 15. Please change the line 14 comma 15 to the ID of your card 1 and card 2 ID, then click button to run again. Now you will see card 1 will trick message card 1 detected, one short beep and green light, when you put card 2 to reader, shell window will show card 2 detected, two short beep and green light.